Welcome back, Bricktectors. Today I want to share something with you that we got in mail time that I thought was really neat. It's this vending machine. It's made to look like a Mountain Dew vending machine, but on the side here it says Making Dew, which I thought was really clever. This was sent to us by a company known as Build Better Bricks. When while this isn't a sponsored video, they did send this to me for free. This is 34 pieces, and while it's not an actual Lego set, they did include official Lego pieces in here, and they also have the stickers in here as well to make it look real fancy. So let's open this up and see what we got ourselves here. Opening the bag, these are most likely the instructions, I'm assuming. And looks like they did a decent job at laying this out, how to build it. Looks fairly simple. There's five steps on the front, and it goes up to 13 steps in the back, which the last step is just putting the stickers on. Let's look at these pieces. Not a very colorful set by any means, mostly black, but that's okay, that's what it's supposed to be. Like I mentioned earlier, these are official Lego pieces. These aren't knockoffs, so it's nice that they included Lego pieces in here as I drop them all over. Get out of there. So there we go. Those are all the pieces that it takes to make this. Inside this bag, we've got our stickers. And there you can get a better look at the Making Do logo, which I really love, just like Mountain Dew. And then we've got a bunch of other sodas here. Anyway, let's get into what you came here for, and that's to see this thing build up. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just finished step 12. There's one step left, which is to put the stickers on this. And I'm a little taken back here because I do have one piece left over. And after looking back through the manual here, I don't see where I missed a piece and the thing looks like it's fully completed. So maybe they just gave me an extra one, but I kind of got to the end and I was like, wait a minute. You start to question your life a little bit when you're given a 34 piece build and you mess that up. And I don't think I did though. I think this is an, truly an extra piece. So not too concerned about that. What I am concerned about are these stickers because these are the type of stickers that go completely across this build. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here. All these pieces here are about to be locked together when I put the sticker on. So this is going to be the only thing that I can really build out of this, but I'm okay with that. If you watch my channel, you know that I'm not a lover of stickers, but this is pretty essential to make this thing look realistic. There's the first side of making do, and we're going to put making do on the other side here too. There it is. This side here, you can start to see a couple of the issues with putting stickers across pieces, which is something LEGO really doesn't do much anymore. I know they used to do that back in the 90s with some of those sets, but you can see, if I hold this in the right lighting, you can see how it kind of has a ridge there where these pieces are. And if you don't look too close, you don't notice it, but it's there. One more sticker to put on, which is like the control panel in the front where you order your drink at, and that goes across this tile right here, and it's on and it's done. This is our making do vending machine with the beautiful stickers on the side. Also love the sticker on the front. You can see right through the glass there to pick out your drink. You punch it in here, then it rolls out the bottom. It would have been really cool if instead of including this extra piece, if they included like a little cylinder where a can can come out. Let me see if I can work something like that out here real quick for you. I've got two options for our making do drink. We've got this one and this one. I think we're gonna go with this one for making do. And to make it even more official, let's put a top on there. So now we have a making do can. And then that could go right in here. Oh, it's too small. Sugar Shack, that would've been really cool. But overall, pretty good build. Here's what it looks like from the top. Got some tile up there. The back is all nice and flat. It's got legs that it kind of sits on there. To keep it off the ground entirely. And I do believe this is minifig scale. This is the little kid from the storybook that I have sitting around and it looks really good with him. So now he's got a pretzel and he's got some making do. So that's it for today's build. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Also in the comments, let me know which set you want to see next. I've got two more of these. The first one we have here is Dance Pants Revolution, which is like a DDR machine. I think that one's really neat. Or we could follow this one up with one that's very similar and we could build the stud machine. I'm leaning towards the Dance Pants Revolution just because it's a little different, but if there are some stud fans out there that want to see the stud machine built, I'd be happy to do that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.